European Championships. Martin Haven and Greg Cackett back in the warm and the dry, Greg, but for an athlete, even here in Altenburg, you would rather be on the start line. Oh, God, yeah. The, this, <laughs> this, uh, this track, you know, even how savage it is now, technically, it is, it is the most satisfying. When you get to the bottom, we call it Altenburg Euphoria. You're like, oh, I don't know what I was worried about. That was, uh, that was amazing. <laughs> but, uh, but going through the POV here, you see Kopach still holding that 5.11 start record. Hila Lawrence. Yeah, and you can just see there, there is a bit of snow in the grooves there, but these guys were top two push last week. They'll be wanting to be number one this week. What's in the tank? 26, okay, so we're All seeing right. the standard here. So he got upset last week because I questioned his, his entrance into Chrysler. I thought he had a little skin, it turns out he didn't. Clear, 55-7-0. That's really good news. So I think that run really is going to set the standard for the other boys because with the start time of Big T on the back in a 5.2, that's letting it. Oh, Taylor, shocking breaking, mate. Dreadful. <laughs> back to the drawing board on that one. Now, Taylor is he's a massive Royal Marine. He was basically identified as talented by us by virtue of his size. We went, that guy's enormous. Let's get him in a sled. And he has proven to be utterly world class. Good morning. We are at round five of the BMW IBSF World Cup series. Um, there's rainwater in my coffee cup, which must mean one thing. We are in Altenburg, Germany, just south of Dresden. Uh, the blue skies from this morning have paved way to uh, the characteristic rain we all know and love. Uh, my name's Greg Cackett. I'm Team GB bobsledder, filling in for Martin Haven today. And uh, you may be wondering how a bobsledder can be dealing with the women's skeleton, but thankfully I'm delighted to be joined by Liz Meyer, who will be providing all the subject matter guidance should I venture too deeply. Hi, Liz. There we go. Excellent. Good stuff, Justin. Next up, his compatriot, his, his uh, countryman, Lonnie Bissonnette. Now, this guy is one of my favorite people on the tour. Lonnie is an absolute lunatic. Lonnie's a base jumper, um, and he is just a phenomenal character. And he's, a, he's one of the original Parabob um, pilots. He's got a lot of runs under his belt. He knows how to control these things. Definitely. He started Parabobsled back in 2013 in Calgary, so he has been sliding for many, many years. That's it. We were having lunch the other day, and he was showing us his base jumping uh, highlight reels, and he still base jumps as a paraplegic after his accident. He's just a remarkable guy. 